TSCP Foundation, an organization that hides behind a disguise of protection, yet whose dark and questionable methods have been exposed time and time again. We will observe once more how the lack of transparency from TSCP Foundation is just a doorway that reveals its darkest secrets. Item number SCP-579 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-579 is currently in Site 62C, a compound located approximately 80 kilometers from Site, the main site. Knowledge of the existence of this site has been deemed unnecessary for all non-essential personnel who are not involved in SCP-579's containment. Site consists of a building housing SCP-579 and living quarters for containment staff. SCP-579 is encased in a 30 meter by 30 meter by 30 meter unit made of, in which SCP-579 is kept in permanent suspension through the use of electromagnets. Site is equipped with a hard line to high command through which all reports and notifications are to be made. Staff consists of two teams, each composed of 17 level 1 personnel, 3 level 2 personnel, and 1 level 4 personnel, which are rotated by weekly. All instruments are to be checked each half hour to ensure their continued function. Changes in any measured attribute are to be immediately reported to high command. Any instrument or electronic device registering more than 0.2% from its median range of function or displaying any errors or lapses in functioning will result in automatic execution of Action 10 in the field. Routine reports to High Command are to be made hourly. If a report is not received within 7 minutes of its scheduled time, Action 10 is field 8 is to be executed. Absolutely no action regarding SCP-579 other than those strictly outlined above is to be taken. Description Addendum 579-001 Action 10 is Rafil-8 Doors, windows, and other possible exits from site are to be sealed, preventing the transfer of personnel into or out of the site. Themes and resources required for Action 10 is rafil B are to be readied and moved into position. If reports are received by high command at the correct time, or if instruments or electronic devices return to their normal state, High Command will issue an all-clear statement. If such a statement is not received within 7 minutes of the commencement of Action 10 is Rafil A, execute Action 10 is Rafil B. If at any time any instruments or electronic devices near SCP 579 begin to display significant errors or deviations from normal functioning, Action 10 is Rafil B must be executed immediately. If an all-clear statement is issued, at least 72 hours without further anomalies must pass before site can be unsealed, and Action 10 is Rafil B themes may stand down. Action 10 is Rafil B Gateway of Site 72, SCP-004, is to be destroyed. This must be done regardless of personnel or facilities remaining within the site. Remnants of the gate or the gate itself if the structure proves impossible, are to be contained in the same manner as SCP-579. High Command will then issue further instruction. Addendum 579-002 In the event of a successful Action 10 is Rafael B, all sealed documents regarding SCP-579 are to be released to all personnel involved with the action. Procedures as outlined within the documents are to be followed, along with contingency plans if necessary. Be aware that even with the successful execution of Action 10 is Rafil B, estimates place the occurrence of at one year or less. If SCP-579 is mentioned in any capacity by SCP, any anti-foundation or public groups, or it is recommended that Action 10 is Rafil A be executed as planned immediately. In the event of an unsuccessful Action 10 is Rafil B, no further action will be necessary. Addendum 579 Timeline 
event zero. SCP-579 is discovered. Point of origin is Event 1 Initial assessment of SCP-579 is undertaken. Event 2 SCP-579 is inadvertently removed from its point of origin. Event 3 Event 4 Event 5 Event 6 Event 7 Event 8 SCP-579 is successfully contained Event 9 SCP-579 is moved to Site 4 Event 10 Containment failed Loss of Site 4 Event 11 SCP-579 is successfully contained Event 12 SCP-579 is moved to Site 31 Event 13 Containment failed Loss of Site 31 Event 14 SCP-579 is successfully contained Event 15 SCP-579 is moved to Site 26 Event 16 Containment failed Loss of Site 26 Event 17 SCP-579 is successfully contained Event 18 Attempt is made to destroy SCP-579 Attempt failed Event 19 Attempt is made to destroy SCP-579 Attempt failed Event 20 Attempt is made to destroy SCP-579 Attempt failed Event 21 Attempt is made to destroy SCP-579 Attempt failed Event 22 Containment failed Event 23 Event 24 Event 25 SCP-579 is successfully contained Event 26 SCP-579 is transported to vicinity of point of origin Event 27 Attempted to return SCP-579 to point of origin Attempt failed Event 28 Attempted to return SCP-579 to point of origin Attempt failed Event 29 Attempted to return SCP-579 to point of origin Attempt failed Event 30 Attempted to return SCP-579 to point of origin Attempt failed Resulting in the loss of point of origin Event 31 Containment failed Event 32 Event 33 Event 34 Event 35 Event 36 SCP-579 is successfully contained Event 37 SCP-579 is moved to site Event 38 SCP-579 undergoes previously unobserved changes believed to involve Containment holds though this is determined not to be attributable to containment procedure Event 39 High Command issues locked down on site Event 40 Agent Formulates current containment plan Event 41 Site 62C is constructed Event 42 SCP-579 is moved to site Event 43 High Command seals all data not needed for containment of SCP-579 Termination of agents to prevent data leakage regarding SCP-579 is deemed unnecessary 
as only seven such agents remain. Said agents are retained as advisors, should further events concerning SCP-579 occur. And lo, once again, we find ourselves confronted with the absurd bill of secrecy that defines the SCP Foundation. It is true that concealment is also an important part of the fightful goal for us in the GOC. Censorship is intended to shield the public and maintain a semblance of normalcy. However, the overly paranoid language employed in handling this anomaly only serves to impede the Foundation's purpose mission of protection. How can they effectively deploy personnel to contain something they barely comprehend? What value lies in safeguarding incomplete knowledge? They are even trying to destroy the anomaly by themselves, when they could easily ask for help to other groups of interests. Rest assured, as we remain committed to stop the nonsense of the SCP Foundation, and to bring more of its secrets to light. I am Virostris Anonimo, we at the GOC, and you have been informed.